Hello everyone and welcome to Dash Connect Show, episode number 14. This is exciting episode. We're starting our product video episode. Watch it to the end, comment and enjoy it. This is the best stuff you're gonna see. In this videos, we're gonna start talking about the product. This is the most exciting videos we're gonna make. We're gonna give you detailed information about all the products that we make and give you the advantages over any other competitive products. Let's go. First product, we're gonna talk about some older vehicles, Hyundai and Acre vehicles with 12 pin navigation systems. This unit must be connected only at the navigation braid in the car. Do not connect it anywhere else. Find the navigation DVD run where the disc goes into, connect the interface elsewhere in the car, even for a split second, will damage the interface permanently. Let's go. This is the basic interface. This interface comes with a universal harness and then you get the plug and play harness and it's controlled by the push button. This particular interface has two video inputs. You can use them any way you want. If you install it in the Honda Acura vehicles and the car has factory rear seat entertainment that is never connected to the front screen, you can use one of the inputs to connect it to the front screen. Most of the cars you would install this interface on would not have backup camera, so you can use it for backup camera and rear seat entertainment, backup camera and front camera, backup camera, and any other video input. So we're gonna show you some of the examples. So you got the interface, two video inputs, plug and play harness, video switching is done via push button. This interface is 100% made in the United States. It is made only using highest quality automotive grade components. There are currently no other video interfaces in the world that are made in USA using only automotive grade components, which means it will not fail due to temperature, humidity, vibration, or all the other hazards that are found inside customers' vehicles. You got the interface, and if you want to connect the rear view camera, it's not going to be a problem, right there, rear view camera. If you want to connect front camera, that's also not a problem, you can connect front camera. So, we got interface, you can connect rear camera, which is automatic and reverse. In this particular model, front camera activated manual via push button, or you can use the second input for anything else. But rear camera automatic and reverse, out of reverse, it's gonna automatically shut off. You can force any of the cameras on. This is again another unique thing about our interface that are not found anywhere else in the market. You don't have to have release or anything else. If you connect rear camera instead of reverse to accessory power, you can use the push button to change the inputs. So you press the push button, you can do video one, which is, rear cam which is front camera, video two, which is rear camera. And then simply by using push button, you will be able to switch inputs and watch any of the camera and drive without any adding any relays or diodes. Now, if you do not want to connect one of the cameras, you still have two inputs. We have a wireless module that you can install. This is the wireless muffle mirroring module made in the USA. It connects to this interface by RCA. So the image is not going to be HD. We're going to show you next module, which is HD quality. This is SD, so you will get standard video through RCA, but this is a lower cost module. And if you want wireless mirroring, there's ability to connect it with the RCA and have wireless mirroring in the car. And you can use any phone, iPhone or Android wirelessly and connect to this interface by means of RCA wire. We're gonna show you the next module that has HDMI input, but this one, you, got, you can do rear camera and wireless but you only have two inputs remember so if you are gonna be doing rear camera and rear seat entertainment not gonna be able to do it you might need our digital module so let's move on to our next module next module is our HD HDMI module this interface has four camera inputs and audio output for HDMI so you got left camera right camera rear camera front camera this module is way more advanced again made in USA automotive grade top of the line stuff this has also HDMI input. Now, this module, what feature does it have? Left and right cameras are automatic with turn signals or 
you could manually turn the cameras on at any time with a push button. So either you use turn signals left and right, or if you just want to drive, or your customers want to drive and watch any camera, using the push button, you, you can activate permanently any camera. It has a rear camera automatic in reverse, and it has an advanced front camera. In this particular module for Hondas and Akers with 12-pin navigation, front camera would work out of reverse into drive, and it will stay on the screen up to 10, uh, up to 10 seconds. So when you're switching, when you park and you want to see the front camera, you do the reverse. Now the reverse you do into drive, and up to 10 seconds, the front camera will stay on the screen. So, with this module, you're able to connect. A rear camera. A front camera. and two lane watch cameras, left and right. These are not parking cameras, different between lane watch cameras, parking cameras. Parking cameras that look straight on the ground for parking. Lane watch cameras, they look to the sides. So when you, or the lane watch cameras, also known as blind spot cameras, they look on the side of the car so you can see the cars in your blind spots when you're changing the lanes. This module has HDMI input. So you're able to connect our wireless mirroring module and have the wireless mirroring module displayed in HD quality on the screen. So you will have high definition image, 720p sent to this module, and from this module, the module will adjust image quality to the highest resolution that the screen in the car can accept. All right, so you got four cameras and the interface. And you can connect any way you want. You can connect two cameras, one camera, you got four inputs, and you can connect wireless HDMI module. It actually going to get connected by the means of HDMI cable and you get all this stuff right on your screen in the car. This module will accept wirelessly iPhone and Android, both phones. So if your customer have two phones or you know it could be family, husband and wife for example, boyfriend, girlfriend, doesn't matter, I have two phones, iPhone and Android, they use the same car, they don't have to have the different hardware. In Honda Acura with 12-pin navigation, the switching is still going to be done with the push button. And you can install any cameras you want. You can install just rear camera, for example. You can install just rear camera and wireless module. You can install rear and front camera, which is the most popular installation, and the wireless module. And when you install wireless module, what is going to happen is that rear camera in reverse, in drive you got front camera, and then all the other time can do wireless module. What is so good about having both units with wireless modules? So even this mod, this unit, or the regular interface, what, what is the advantage of having this? And the advantage is the following. Most of those Honda and Acura vehicles will have outdated navigation systems. You can use Google Maps, Waze, any other application. This module has only two limitations. The wireless module has two limitations. You cannot use um, Netflix and iTunes download a video. For Android, there's no limit. For iPhone, Netflix and iTunes download a videos will not stream wirelessly. Every other app will work, whether it's a calculator, iPhone, or any other application. Uh, cal calculator, iPhone, calculator, Facebook, YouTube, Hulu, any other application will work. You can connect this wireless module with our HD module or SD module. And, very important, this HD module with HDMI input allows you to connect other products. So, if you don't want to use the wireless module, you can use the wired iPhone via Lightning to HDMI, or for Android, there's no limitation. This could be used as a receiver for Miracast, which all Androids have. But for iPhone, if you want to use Netflix and iTunes videos, you have to use either Apple TV or you can use Lightning to HDMI adapter. And you know those adapters are bulky and we also offer a custom made extension cable. So you know the bulky adapter, you can use one of these cables. This is Lightning extension cable. With this cable, the bulky adapter can stay hidden and only this part will connect to your phone. So this is this part will connect to the iPhone and all the other HDMI 
and the bulky lightning to HDMI adapter will stay hidden elsewhere in the car that if you want to go wired directly to this adapter if you want to stay wireless this is the adapter for your customers so again we got the SD module and HD module SD module allows you two composite inputs and SD wireless mirroring HD module allows you to do four inputs and HD quality wireless mirroring. Keep in mind, there's currently no other modules in the market that allows you to connect four cameras and control them with turn signals, park to drive, reverse, and all the other stuff. This is very unique. This is the only made in USA module. There's no other brand currently on the market that sells this kind of product that does not exist. We're the only American video integration company with automotive engineers with infotainment experience that sell this kind of product with these features. This module is also USB updatable. So some of the features could be turned on and off via USB, very easy updater. We're the only people that have Windows and Mac based updaters. We have regular micro USB, you don't need any interface in the middle, just a micro USB cable to USB and that's it. You can control the features. So this way we don't allow the customers to tweak the features like some of the other modules. Customer tweaks all the features and they come back to your store and like nothing is working. So it's really automotive grade. This is designed in mind with installers in mind, with consumers in mind. This is designed by people who are really industry veterans. Thank you for watching. Please share this video, subscribe to our channel, and watch all our other videos.